What's happening YouTube? It is an absolutely perfect Saturday out here. It's 70 degrees and sunny. I'm in the Browns Camp, Rogers Camp, OHV Park area here in Oregon and we've got the 390 with us ready to rip. One additional super cool thing is that this spring I wanted to do kind of a visual refresh on the bike so I picked up a set of Moto Pro Works graphics. We're going to take a look at that here in a second. Um, the mission for today is basically just to ride some trails and see what we can get into with the 390 and how it handles it. So let's take a look at those graphics and we'll get to it. Alright guys, the first trail we're going to do today is this intermediate that runs along this outside trail ridge which should have some pretty stellar views. Honestly, this is the first time that I have done this trail in a really long time so I don't exactly remember how difficult it is but we're going to give it a shot. Oof, listen to that. First trail I think so we're going to go nice and easy. go. Hey, we made it around. Yeah, I go this right side here. Whoa. Oops. That was not the line I wanted to take. Yeah, see, that's what I get. We're not maintaining a good stance. Golly. 
I really picked a heck of a trail to get warmed up on. completely on the first trail of the day. on the way out here to re-download it just before I lost service. But even so, I haven't looked at it yet to get a reference for where in the heck I am. But I should probably do it when I come off this trail. Man, I gotta say, you know, in this dry stuff, these Motaz Traction Air rallies just hook up. Man, they're really true. I don't get a lot of slide, the front end's very stable. And I rode all the way out here this morning. You know, I'm going 60, 70 miles an hour down the highway. And it's just fine, you know, they do it just well. You just kind of have to be okay with the tires howling a lot. Because they, they do howl quite a bit.
A few moments later. Okay, figured out where I am. Got back to where we were before. Now we're gonna take this number three trail over here to the right and uh, see how it goes. It's another intermediate trail. Uh, easies and intermediates are kind of the ones I ride on the 390 the most. I, you really won't catch me on like a black diamond or anything on this bike just because even though it can probably do it with a skilled enough rider, that rider is not me. You know, um, I'm good enough to get it down these intermediates though and I have fun doing that. So that's what we're going to do. And also, I think intermediates are the most prolific in terms of volume out here anyways, so it ends up being a really good time. It gives you a lot of choices and options for trails to ride. And uh, the ones we're hitting today really don't seem too bad. These aren't like outrageously challenging, but they're good, fun trails. We're just kind of in first and second gear. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think this is the one that turns way south. I think I want to go up there. Okay, no, I want to stay down here. So first turn off, that left goes up. Okay, we're going the right way. At least, I think so. All right, we're gonna stand for this. This is a little whoopee. You gotta watch out on those whoops, I mean. This thing has decent suspension, but at least, oh shit. At least for me as a 200 pound rider, it's like, uh, yeah, it's a little bit underwhelming. Okay, oh shit. All right, you know what I was just saying about intermediates not being too bad? That section was hard. That was pretty rough. Oh, but we made it. Hell yeah. That just goes to show too that a map or a Google map, it's really hard to tell what a road is like or not like or a trail. Uh, Alright, well I kind of know where we are so I think we're going to Go up this little weird hill thing and see where we end up. out there. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Ooh, a little bad. Ah, this is the right context for these kinds of wraps, you know? Love it. Uh, ooh, what?
<laughs> Ooh, dang, lots of rear brake on this trail. that it has oh come on that was weird it does that every once in a while it'll just kind of flame out on me not real often but here and there you know so generally it's not a problem but I'm told that if I use a fuel controller especially because I have a chamber delete and an aftermarket pipe on it that it'll help with that kind of thing it did kind of the same thing with the stock exhaust, so it's not really any worse than it was, but supposedly you can make it better. jump there. Wait, was I supposed to go left? up here. Yeah. I'm not even going to pretend like I know what number this is. We're just going to go. Uh, but it does have an intermediate symbol on it, the little blue box with the wavy line through it. So uh, hopefully not too bad. It's always mellow at a start and then you find out how much you're in for later. You know, when you're uh, way too deep to turn around and it's really tight, that's how it always works. Whenever there's a big steep edge like that, it always freaks me out a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of heights, especially not on a fast-moving two-wheeled object. We gotta hang it right up this steep little hill. So this is gonna be an interesting challenge. Ooh, buddy. Oh, you know what? That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It looked like it was gonna be worse. like I need to go right but last time that was wrong so who even knows
sneaky now. Oh, that's what they get for dragging them through the dirt all the time. I suppose. Okay, so last time we went up this trail, this time we're gonna go down, because this is the, the longer route that I wanna do, so uh, let's get after it. They recommend you wear a long sleeve, and you're gonna be here. You're taking some branches, you know. these Oregon trails I tell you I can get I cannot get enough of them they are just amazing right. not going too crazy though we still got to keep an eye out for other people coming up the trail but man what a good ride Sun is getting warm. Oh, are we on the back side of the ridge? I 
haven't been this way in a little bit. I think if we go down past the power line to the right, it'll take us uh, like actually to Browns Camp. I don't go over there at times, it's usually really busy. But, you know. Wow! Yeah. Golly. That was a little bit more of a jump than I thought it would be. Way too hard. I gotta check my rim now. Okay, number seven. Let's go check this out. I meant to hit this kind of a, one of the last times I was up here. I saw a couple of guys on TWs coming up this way. And uh, I don't know, looks like it might be a cool trail on the map, so. I gotta stay left on all of these if I want to get the route that I'm looking for. Should be like two or three turnoffs. There wasn't any damage. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, I remember this trail. I think I've only come up this before and never down it, so this, that's kind of a trip. Taking some hits there.
we're hitting the end of kind of the time that I want to ride just because I can feel how tired I'm getting. It's a lot of work pushing this big bike around. And I know a lot of adventure riders will say, ah, it's such a tiny bike, it's a small bike, but you're doing trails. This is a big bike. I mean, a DRZ 650 weighs like 360 pounds. This is like 26 more pounds than that. Wet weight without any accessories. So we're probably at the 400 pound mark with the rear rack and the extra pieces on this. That's a lot of bike to push around. And being that I'm not a pro rider, I'm not quite skilled enough to know how to make the bike do all the work for me. Although we are getting better. downhills. I like to take them nice and easy, cover that rear brake, and try not to die. Make sure no one's coming so we don't get run over. This will probably be the last little bits of this trail. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this ride. Let me know what you think of the graphics for the KTM 390 Adventure down in the comments. And if you like this kind of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate it a lot. Till next time, peace.